Well, hello, beautiful people. Thank you for joining me today on my channel, Sewing and Growing. My name is Rebecca, and I love to sew. I'd like to start out by thanking all of my new subscribers. Welcome to the family. All of you are new because my channel is new. I think I'm getting close to being halfway to 100 subscribers now, and I am super, super grateful for each and every one of you. As soon as I get to my first 100 subscribers, I'm going to have an awesome giveaway. So I'm looking forward to that, but I hope that you will continue to enjoy the content. So for today's video, we're going to be making another super easy beginner friendly project. And that, as you already know, is a t-shirt. In this video, I'm going to be making the t-shirt that I'm wearing. And um, as far as supplies goes, all you're going to need um, is your four-way stretch fabric. And if you choose to do some embellishments, however you choose to do that, you want to bring that along. But the wonderful thing about this tutorial is that the pattern only has three pieces because the sleeve is built in. You will not have to set a sleeve in. As you notice, there's no seam here. This is all one piece. The sleeve is built into the t-shirt front and back, which makes it really, really awesome. So this is the first time, honestly, that I don't think I've ever made a t-shirt. I've made a ton of garments, but t-shirt, I don't remember ever making one. So this we're going to be doing together. First time ever, okay? Um, we all wear t-shirts, right? They're a go-to. I mean, they're cool. They're fun. They make statements. They're casual. So be encouraged. Come along. You can do this. Make one with me, okay? Even if you just end up using it to wear to sleep in, to do yard work in, it's all good. You'll be surprised at how... I think you're going to have some success that you're, that's going to inspire you. So anyways, I would like to share with you all there is a message on the front of my t-shirt and on the back. Well, there's a plant lady. I don't know if that's the message. Maybe it is. I mean, you already know I like to plant. But on the back of my t-shirt, there's a special message. Excuse me. I'm getting excited. Mm. You all know I love to plant. I love to sew. I love to grow. And the message on the back of my t-shirt um, was inspired by a passage in uh, the Bible, one of my favorite passages from Proverbs 31, chapter, uh, verse 16. Let me share it with you, if I may. It's really quick and short. It says, she considers a field and buys it. Now, I did have to pay for the plot that I'm renting to garden on, so hopefully, hopefully that qualifies. Out of her earnings, she plants a vineyard. Oh. She sets about her work vigorously. Her arms are strong for her task. Now, ladies and gentlemen, be encouraged. Know that anything you set out to do, you are capable. Your arms, your mind is strong for your task. This is a wonderful gift, isn't it? It's a wonderful thing. So be encouraged. Even if you don't construct garments, even if you don't plant or garden, you do so. We all sow. Every time we speak a word of encouragement into someone's life, we're sowing a seed. Every time we speak a word, whether that be for the good or maybe not so good, we're sowing seeds. So we all sow. And hopefully we all grow. We don't always sow good seeds. All of us are, you know, none of us are perfect. You know, we say things that are not always the best. So we're not going to be discouraged by that. We're going to be discouraged just, I'm sorry, encouraged. We're going to be encouraged just knowing that when we speak, we can be sowing seeds of love and hope. So thank you for allowing me to share that with you. Um, without further ado, we'll go ahead and get into the video. This tutorial requires um, your fabric to be a four-way stretch for your t-shirt. Pop, pop, pop it. You don't have to have a, a contrast fabric for your neck binding. You can use the same fabric that you use for your t-shirt. And um, what else? 
Oh, your embellishment. We're not focusing on the embellishment for this tutorial. I will show you highlights of how I do it, but it's really about just constructing a t-shirt and feeling confident with that. Um, however you choose to embellish or not embellishment is totally optional on this video. So thank you for joining me and I hope you'll continue to come back to enjoy future content. Hey there, I apologize. I failed to mention where you can locate a pattern that has the sleeve built in. And all you have to do is go to Dr. Google and type in something like t-shirt pattern with built-in sleeve. I actually did this and um, I found that several sellers on Etsy offer these for sale. You can download the pattern or have it mailed to you. And you can also purchase them on Amazon. Wow, go figure. So yes, the patterns are available. I'm sure you could probably find one in your local fabric store among your current pattern makers. But for those of you who like to shop online, I just wanted to put that out there because I forget I failed to mention it. Now back to the video. Okay, so there's going to be a total of three pieces to this t-shirt. T-shirt front, t-shirt back, and then we're going to make a ribbing that's going to go around the neckline. I'm going to actually make this out of a silver fabric, but I'm just showing you it's going to just kind of be like this. Something you just take and fold over and it's gonna go around the neckline. Just like a normal t-shirt ribbing, except for we're gonna use silver to make it pop. I'm gonna start by cutting my front. Mine, both pieces need to be cut on the fold, front and back. Mine is uh, pushed back a little bit away from the fold to give me some extra room because this pattern piece um, it's too small for me. I, I have outgrown it. What I love about this pattern is that the sleeve is built in. And you'll be able to, or well, you should be able to find a pattern that has a built-in sleeve. And I'm giving myself a little extra room. That's why I'm not cutting right up next to the pattern piece. Okay, I have a girl's dress that is whoo, aluminum foil silver metallic. And I am going to cut on this because it is, look at that, four way stretch. So I'm going to use this to make a neck binding and a sleeve cuff for my t shirt. I like to have my piece be about an inch and a half to two inches thick or wide, I should say. That's what I'm going to do.
Okay, friends, we're going to go ahead and start sewing. Design options are up to you as to how you want to embellish the front or back of your t-shirt. This tutorial does not um, require an embellishment. It's just simply to show you how easy it is to make your own t-shirts and that you don't even have to utilize a pattern that has a sleeve that you have to sew in separately. You can easily make a t-shirt from a pattern that has three pieces. That would be the front, the back, and your neck binding. Now, I'm going to serge my edges or serge my seams along both sides and then along the underarm and also at the shoulder. I'm going to start at the top and work my way down. So actually, I'm going to serge my left and right shoulder seams first and then I'm going to serge my sleeve, underarm, and side seams all in one. Okay, so side seams have been surged notice how i simply curved my underarm i didn't make a straight deviation or 90 degree angle i did not do that i simply curved into that okay it's just going to be easier and make it um flow turn out really nice and smooth without having this like funny thing up under your arm and i just want to make note of the sleeve. Notice how the sleeve is cut on a diagonal. This could be a potential problem when you go to sew if you don't use a um, a needle for stretch knits or if you don't have your machine settings um, for stretch knits because it could pull. The fabric will stretch as you go along causing it to buckle like this it won't be nice and straight. If that happens and there's just a minimal amount of buckling, you can simply press those out by just laying your iron directly on it without any movement. Just lay your iron flat. And if it's a small amount, those should um, press out for you. I had a small amount on one of my sleeves and as you can see here, there's no trace of it. I did use my serger and I had my serger set on uh, the settings for knit fabric so that may have helped as well but just a word of caution that that could be a potential problem so now it's time to address our neck binding I all right so now I'm finding the center back where my seam is of my neck binding and my center front I do that simply by folding it in half then I want to go in the opposite direction. So I can do that by placing these two together and then finding my halfway point in the opposite direction. And you can actually stitch this down with a stay stitch if that helps. It won't hurt anything. Just make sure you stay really close to the edge so that that stitch um, either doesn't show or is not difficult to rip out or I should say take out I don't like to rip anything when it comes to my clothes I like to handle them very delicately being mindful I like to have my seams pressed toward the back so I'm pinning toward the back so they don't flip on me while I'm sewing And now, find my center back. Make sure I have equal amounts of stretch on both sides. I 
I just want to say you have to be careful underneath to make sure there's no puckering or anything. Make sure that's laying nice and flat and smooth as you go around the neckline. Now she's going to have a little oopsie. We don't want any oopsies. Notice how I'm not even engaging the blade for this because my seam is so close to the edge of the fabric. Oh boy, somebody's going to be cute in their gray and silver plant lady t-shirt. So now that we have applied our neck binding, we feel confident that we can do the same thing around the sleeves if we want or at this point you have the option of simply turning your sleeve under and just stitching it and finishing and doing the same on um, your hem on the bottom and you can be finished or you can go ahead and add a binding around each sleeve which is what I'm going to do next um, but first I'm sorry I'm going to go and I'm going to top stitch this neck binding down so that it doesn't move. I'm just going to do a really close edge stitching all the way around front and back. I would like to share with you all a tip as to how I hem my t-shirts um, in order to avoid them from stretching on the bottom. I simply iron my hem in. You can see this has been turned under. And then I take a very lightweight hem tape and I press that in. I've already gone most of the way around. Yeah, press that in. Just turn it under. Turn your t-shirt with the wrong side out, turn it under, and then take your hem tape, nestle it in there between the hem and the shirt, and press. And then that way, when you turn it back over to do your top stitching, it helps it not to stretch. You still have to be uh, very cautious as to how you manipulate the fabric to keep it from stretching. Make sure you don't pull on it and make sure um, your machine is set for knits and that you're using a needle for stretch knits. These things really do make a difference in terms of allowing um, your knit projects um, to be nice and flat without any ripples, okay, where there are seams. Well, here it is, all finished. So I never iron or put the iron directly on the graphics that I make with the Cricut Maker. Just a quick note on that. But um, the sleeve binding has been attached. You can see, nice finished edge. It searched in there. Sleeve binding on both sides, neck binding. And, oh, the back, of course. Ta-da! She plants a vineyard taken directly from Proverbs 31.16. That's me. I like to plant. <laughs> so, yeah, there it is. I did do a double um, seam on my hem at the bottom, as you can see here. It has uh, two two rows of stitching. I just um, like the way that looks. No particular reason. You don't have to do that. So, thank you for watching. I hope that you enjoy um, this video and that you try this project.